The Maryville College Fighting Scots got a little boost this morning for their game tonight against ETSU Bucks. Former Oklahoma Sooners running back Marcus Dupree addressed the team this morning before they departed for Johnson City. Great night for football as we had to see Spurrier Field where the Buccaneers came out in front of over 7,000 fans. This is the first time these two teams have played since 1950. Scott struck first when Trenton Schuler on the opening drive scores from 22 yards out. Maryville led it 7 to nothing. Bucks would answer when Austin Herring takes a hit at the three yard line but still muscles his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Game tied 7 all. Game still tied at 7 in the first when Herring scrambles, finds Demetrius Anthony. Check out the catch in the back of the end zone for the touchdown. ETSU led this contest 14 to 7. That was nice. Bucks trail 21 7 just before the half when Nick Sexton rolls out. He's going to find Dalton Ponchilla for the 20 yard touchdown. This game was tied at 21 all at the half. It stayed tied at 21 all until nine minutes to play in the fourth period when the Scots Evan Pettinger completes a pass to Schuler and he does the rest for a 35 yard touchdown. Scots took the lead and they hung on from there to beat ETSU tonight 28 21. News Channel 11 Sports Jake Young was there and has reaction from the team. Kenny, for the second straight week, it's a loss in the books for the ETSU football team. And for the second straight week, there were some brilliant individual performances out on the field. But head coach Carl Torbush says, it's about time to stop focusing on one guy and start focusing on 110. We can't talk so much about individuals. We need to start getting better as an offense and a defense because, like I say, I can pick out individuals that did some nice things, but we didn't do enough nice things as a football team in any phase of the game. We're not a team where we can have a superstar. Or, you know, we're, we're a team where we've got to have everyone pulling in the same direction or it's going to be a rough, rough sledding. So um, I think I think he's exactly right with that. We've just got to, got to rally together. we got to have guys grow up. Uh, leaders got to step up. I think especially with two losses now, we're going to have to come in, you know, Keep, get the guys' heads up, not point at other people. Uh, look at ourselves. Leaders just step up and uh, get these guys going. The next challenge for this ETSU football team is going on the road for the first time in 2015. They're headed to Charleston Southern, head coached by Jamie Chadwell, a former ETSU quarterback. From Kermit Tipton Stadium at Science Hill High School, Jake Young, News Channel 11 Sports.